Hi all, Ariana Barrett coming to do a video about discipline for your dog, but it's really for your human. Dog training for humans, that's what I'm going to call this. I don't know if you remember the show, The Dog Whisperer with Caesar Milan. I think it was on for nine seasons. It was awesome. I loved watching that show and I loved seeing Caesar really train the owners, not the dogs, because the dogs are following the owner's behavior, but the owners don't realize what they're doing. So he would always mention three crucial things for a dog to connect to during the day. Exercise, discipline, and affection. So if you think about that for humans, it would be exercise, discipline would be mind, and affection would be heart, right? So we all know the importance of getting daily exercise, even just a little bit. Our heart gets stronger, we release endorphins, those are those feel-good chemicals, and our brain gets stronger and gets bigger. The hippocampus actually gets bigger and that's the part associated with memory and learning. So there's so many benefits to, to physical activity and we need it. It's funny, the days that I work out, I fall asleep so quick and it's such a restful sleep as opposed to the times that, you know, I go through periods of not working out. And in New England, you know, I'm looking at a ton of snow right now. Um, sometimes it's a little challenging. You just want to go into hibernation mode and just eat a lot of heavy fatty foods so you're warm. <laughs> so exercise is one thing that is so important for not only dogs, but for us daily. Uh, the next is discipline. And that would be with our mind. So about creating boundaries with others, healthy boundaries about creating schedule and routine. These are all really important things in our life. And, and not that we have to marry it and get you know militant about it, but it's important to have, to have this structure. Now remember, I was uh, teaching for an outreach program at the Brooklyn Botanic Garden. And I went into the worst schools in Brooklyn. They were low socioeconomic schools. Uh, we'd go into the schools to teach. We'd go to 20 schools a semester in the roughest parts of Brooklyn. And I remember at one point my supervisor saying that I needed to be, what was the word she used? Uh, I needed to, to uh, embody more authority with the kids. And I was kind of confused. I, I mean, I'm not a yeller and she wasn't saying to yell at the kids, um, but about creating that structure as an authoritative figure so they feel safe. And I thought, oh, that's so interesting. That is really fascinating. I never thought of it that way. So, so there's a way that you can create that structure and, and not be yelling and, and not be mean, but but create that foundation, um, create those lines to let them know if you go past that line, then there's this consequence. And in doing that, they know the boundaries and they can kind of let go and feel safe because it's, it's already taken care of. So it was a beautiful lesson for me to learn. And then the third is affection. Come from the heart, feel love, share love, kindness, compassion. And Caesar talks about a lot of owners, they just focus on affection, affection, affection to their dogs. And what that does, it's, he says it's kind of selfish and it actually, because it's fulfilling the owner's needs and not thinking about the dog. And then you're kind of creating an unstable friend. So then the dogs act out, the owners think the dog has a problem, but really it's how the owners have been setting things up and treating the dogs. And a lot of times, you know, the owners, they're fed up, they give up, they give the dogs away and so, or they call in Caesar. So a nice healthy reminder, Exercise, work the mind, structure and schedule, and affection, love and connection. Those three things work for dogs and they work for humans too.